Well, we have our own issues, and it's not rain, unfortunately. It is smoke from the fires that we have in the northern part of the state. This is a shot from La Bajada at I-25, and you can see just some thick haze across the area as they continue to deal with those fires up there. And toward the end of this loop, they start to move that camera a bit, and we'll hopefully get a good shot of some of these fire uh, through the afternoon now that they have moved the camera, and we'll check that out later on at coming up at 4 o'clock. Taking a look at the metro, mostly sunny skies and traffic moving smoothly along the Big Eye temperature right now, very warm, already 84 degrees in Albuquerque. Winds down. We have a calm wind out there, so not having to deal with the winds today, but the winds do start to ramp up over the next couple of days. Temperatures right now in the 70s over the northern mountains, 77 for Taos, 72 for Las Vegas, 73 in Los Alamos, down to the south already starting to heat things up. We're a little bit cooler here in the southeastern part of the state, 83 in Roswell, 87 in Carlsbad, than we are in the southwestern part of the state where we're already starting to reach the low 90s. But temperatures across the entire southern tier of the state will warm up throughout the afternoon. So don't worry if you're not in the 90s now, you soon will be. Over the northern mountains, wind speeds between 10 and 15 miles per hour, especially over toward the Hamas Mountains where they're battling those fires. Down in the southwestern part of the state, we're starting to see winds pick up a little bit here. 15 mile per hour winds in Silver City. But Today actually will not be a big wind day across much of the state. We'll see breezy conditions, and that will be the case once again for Friday. As you can see, the blues start to fill back in winds between 10 and 30 miles per hour for tomorrow afternoon. But it's into Saturday that we really start to see those winds crank up, and we could see gusts up to around 40 miles per hour in some parts of the state. This is at the noon hour on Saturday, and you can already see those blues already starting to fill in by the time we reach the middle of the day. So those winds will continue to elevate throughout the afternoon on Saturday. Taking a look at the setup, not much to talk about. Dry air continues to invade the state, and that completely takes out our chances of showers and storms throughout much of the afternoon. Could still see a spot shower over the eastern part of the state, but those chances are very slim to none. And as we take out those precip chances, we bring in the wind and bring in the heat as the temperatures continue to increase into the weekend as well as the winds. We do start to see those winds taper off for Sunday. And then by the beginning of next week, even toward the middle of next week, we start to see those moisture chances or those storm chances build back into the eastern part of the state as moisture starts to build back in. So it doesn't look like the dry spell is here to stay at least forever. So that's certainly some good news. Southern Colorado for today. Temperatures in the upper 70s to low 80s, mostly sunny skies. We stay in the low 80s for Friday and Saturday, and then chances of those showers and storms returning for early next week. Over the northwest, sunny skies with temperatures in the upper 80s to low 90s. We stay in the low 90s for Friday and Saturday as well, before back into the upper 80s for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Over the southwest, mostly sunny skies, winds out of the southwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Temperatures in the upper 90s for most locations. Even Silver City will make a run for 90 degrees by Saturday before cooling back into the upper 80s for early next week. Over the southeast, partly cloudy skies. Could see a spot storm, but chances very slim. Chances, uh, temperatures in the mid to upper 90s, and then temperatures continue to warm up to the triple digits for Friday and the upcoming weekend. Chances of showers returning by the middle of next week. Over the northeast, mix of sun and clouds could see a spot storm here or there. Temperatures in the 80s and 90s. We dry out for the weekend with temperatures in the mid 80s, then back into the upper 70s with chances of showers and storms again by the middle of next week. Over the northern mountains, partly cloudy skies could get a spot shower here as well. Temperatures in the 70s and 80s. We stay sunny through the weekend and then chances of showers and storms in the middle of next week. In the east mountains, lots of sunshine. Temperatures in the upper 80s to low 90s. Metro will see temperatures in the low 90s this afternoon with mostly sunny skies. And we stay mostly sunny through the weekend. We do have to deal with the winds cranking up through Friday and Saturday. Less wind for Sunday as temperatures stay in the low 90s. A few more clouds toward the middle of next week. And don't forget, you can follow me online on Twitter at KRQE John and, of course, on Facebook by searching for meteorologist John Smith. Okay, thanks a lot.